بسم اللہ الرحمٰن الرحیم الحمد للہ وقفا و سلام علی عباد نصطفا اما بعد قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی فی الکلام المجید ولفرقان الحمید بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمٰن الرحیم اللہ الناس ہج البیت منست طلح سبیلا ومن کافرا و ان اللہ غنی ان العالمی قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بلے و عنی پلو آیا صدق اللہ مولانا العظیم و صدق رسول النبی الکریم و نہن ولا ظال کم نے شاہدین و شاکرین و الحمد للہ رب العالمی مائی موسٹ آنر برادر سسٹر ان اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وی آر ان دا متھور الحج ناؤ آئی کوٹڈ بفور یو آیت مبارکہ فرام سورہ آل عمران آیت نمبر ون زیرو نائن بفور آئی گو تفسیر آف دس آیت مبارکہ Let's bring our hearts and our mind in the state of sugar. Million, trillion, uncountable time, shukar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who blessed us with Islam, with Iman, in the lap of the mother. He gave us birth in the Muslim mother house. Shukar, alhamdulillah, rabbil alam. Otherwise, it's very difficult. If we had born some other non-Muslim house, very hard to convert. Even on this ni'mat, gift, day and night we do sajda, a shukar is still less. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now, a challenge is here now. We should have last breath. With Iman and Islam, we should have Khatma Bil Khair. Amin, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Simple meaning of the Ayat of Barqa, Walillah Alan Nase Hijjul Bayt. For the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Hajj is a farz on Alan Nase. mankind especially all mu'mineen and among the mu'mineen who have istata'at they are physically okay they are financially okay they are mentally okay and all other condition of passport and visa are okay is a farz obligatory like a salat like a ramadan like a zakat second part of that of barka man kafara and who did not do it who did not obey this commandment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He is running, he is independent, he don't care. Allah Akbar. Hajj is for our own benefit, for own our soul purification from the sins. Because after Hajj, our moment become like a new born baby. In Hajj, there is sacrifice of jaan, of maal, of aql, and nafs. We have to go through a lot of mujahada. 
वी हैव टू स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ आवर वेल्थ विच वी वॉन्ट टू कीप इट विद एस फॉर एवर ऑफकोर्स वेन वी स्पेंड टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर बैंक बैलेंस विल गो डाउन इफ आवर नफ्स इज चीप ही विल गेट अपसेट वी डोंट वॉन्ट इट वी डोंट वॉन्ट आवर बैंक बैलेंस गो डाउन एंड ऑल्सो द लॉट ऑफ मुजाहिदा अगेंस्ट द नफ्स वी कैन नॉट ईट वट वी लाइक इन द टाइम वी कैन नॉट स्लीप हाउ वी वॉन्ट टू स्लीप यू सी द मुजल्फा एज यू डोंट हैव बेड और इन मीना सो लॉट ऑफ मुजाहिदा in the arafat you can carry your bed sleeping on the ground so also the sacrifice of the aql we don't have to follow our intellect always certain rituals in the hajj akal our intellect will not accept example do it the waf around baitullah so akal will say what is going on this is a small house you going around yes we had go around फारूम दा सुन हज मोहम्मद सल्लाम दिस ए कमेंडमेंट इवन आवर अकल डोंट एक्सेप्ट इट द लॉट ऑफ अदर काइंड ऑफ रिचुअल इन अरफा इन द मीना देन वी डू रामी वी थ्रो स्टोन और शैतान हाउ कम intellect akal say what is that it makes sense to throw stone on a pillar made of bricks what is that yes we have to do it guzar ja akal se aage ye noor chirage ha raah hai manzil nahi hai akal ki guthiyan suljha chuka main मेरे मौला मुझे साहेब जुनू कर सो द फाउंडेशन ऑफ दीन इज ऑन गायब अल्फ लामीन जाल कल किताब उ ला रही बाफी हदलमतकीन अल्ला जीना यू उमिन गायब और अनसीन सिस्टम वी हैव टू बिलीव इट इवन आवर अकल डज नाट एक्सेप्ट इट This is the Deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We should do Hajj full of virtues, virtuous Hajj, neki wala Hajj. We have to feed the people. We have to be very in soft in talking. We clear every chance. to have argument with others so we have to control our nafs our tongue soft speech we have to lot of so salam assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum this when we do first salam is the best medicine for our kibar if we have our argument वे डू लाटो जिक्र लाटो तक पी रात एवरी ओकेजन इन द हज वी हैव टू से अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर एल तक पी रात वी हैव टू डू अ लाट एंड ऑन द डे ऑफ आरफा अल्लाह सुबहान तला 
feel proud of the hajis and he announced oh my banda who are in the arafa after lot of mujahada i stayed do your mujahada in arafa you came only to please me alone so even your sins are equal to the grain of the sand and your sins are equal to the drops of the rain even your sins are equal to the leaves of the tree of the whole world i have forgiven all your sins now you go back home forgiven as a result of that insha allah haji will come back from the hajj with sin free soul and sin free soul will insha allah enter jannah right away without any stop that is why we have to keep our soul always sin free we know we don't know what time angel of death come so therefore if any sin happen any time we have to seek forgiveness do do toba right away we should not delay the toba and try our best to keep our soul free from sins always 24 hour every hour every minute every second rasul akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam made four five hour in the arafat in the time of hajjatul wida allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised he will forgive everyone except who committed zulm atrocity Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not fully pleased yet because he had love for the ummah and then he was zalfa he cried more and more and made lot of dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took mercy on us and he promised his beloved prophet he will forgive even all zalimin also only they have to pay to whom they did some kind of zulm subhanallah on every stone which we small pebble which we throw on shaitan allah subhanahu wa taala forgive our sins after sai when we shave our head allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with one hasana and one sin is forgiven in reward of one hair one hair when is shaved we get so much reward subhanallah Haji, the person does Hajj. His recommendation, his dua, will be accepted at least for four hundred families. <clears throat> When we travel over there on foot, then the angel hugs us. If we are on the car. Are on the camel, then they do musafa. On one step, we walk. Our one rotation of tire, we are sitting in the vehicle or bus. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgives 
one sin. Now imagine how many around or how many steps we take while during the Hajj. After Tawaf, when we make two Nafal at Mukam e Ibrahim, we get the reward of freeing one Arabian slave. And on the Sa'i, 70 slaves Ajar, which are freed, is rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the end of the Hajj, when we do the Wafi Ziyarat, then angels say, by putting a hand on the shoulder of the Haji, don't worry, all your sins are forgiven, you are like newborn baby. Now you start a new life. All past sins have been forgiven. If by chance person during the Hajj passed away, there is no court, no accountability, no accountability without hisab, without account, he is sent to Jannah. He is ent enter in the Jannah. Jannah al Firdaus. Masha Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us such kind of nema. The old man, Hajj, is like a jihad. Fi sabirillah. The great benefit of the Hajj, when we do Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you more rizq. And there is the promise of khatma bil iman. Man kaana akhira kalamihi la ilaha illallah dahal jannah. Who the last sentence be la ilaha illallah, enter jannah. Khatma bil iman, mashallah, will be granted. The people do hajj, they are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their every dua is accepted. You, we do tawaf, we go around the Baitullah. We are just going around. Like we are, our soul, we are in a washing machine. And our hearts are cleaned up from every kind of minor sins. After finishing tabaf, our heart is shining, free from even any minor sin. Just like clothes come out neat and clean white from the washing machine. The kissing Hajari Aswad is like kissing right hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we do dua with a multazim, just hugging a multazim, just like hugging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Staying in the Muzdalfa in the night time for a while, we get the reward of Shabek Qadr. Say Barakat, Subhanallah. When we throw 70 pebble on the stone, on the shaitan, you know, you know, stone pillar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave our 70 kabira sins. There are was one holy man. He was making dua. Ya Allah, what other reward you are granting me? Please, please 
distribute my whole reward in all hajis and forgive all of them and you forgive me with your mercy he slept he got a dream he is getting the very glad tidings in the dream oh my banda oh my servant you are sacrifice self sacrifice is accepted i forgive all to forgive all those people to whom granted your gift and i forgive you also one let me tell you shaitan sometime deceive us and he make us to postpone the hajj every year because he knows that he will he will do hajj he will be purified he will go to jannah and he don't want us he is our enemy then he make us delay saying oh you are two three daughter you have get them married first or you just start a new business set up the business first and then you do hajj we should not listen to shaitan when hajj is farz like salat like a fasting we should do as soon as possible with the blessing of the hajj our risk will be multiplied inshallah the person on abdullah umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says who does not do hajj even he has money he is healthy is farz on him and he is postponing the hajj this is like a action of a kafir person does not become kafir at all but this is action like a kafir the kafir don't do hajj they cannot do hajj so this is like a refusing the amr of allah subhanahu wa taala the kufr mean here refusing not obeying disobeying and in the day of qiyamah this is a call this is not a hadith the person who hajj was farz he did not do it on his forehead the word kafir will be written this is a call of some scholar and some ulama says this is a call of abdullah ibn umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu wallahu alam bisawa rasul akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam got very angry on the person who eligible to do hajj he does not do it and he don't come to madina manawara also subhanallah person who does hajj he does not come to madina manawara proper said he did jafa jafa to me he was not loyal to me and in spite of having all facilities all amenities money time health everything he has he does not do prophet said he may die as a jew or as a nasrani or christian in the old days the haji used to go to hajj and you do to give dawa and even they do you to convert lot of non believer to islam 
but nowadays because fast service air service we don't fetch time to go to such communities of non believer there we go to become good muslim the past history muslim haji you to convert now we go to become better muslim cleaned purified muslim purified so and ikbal says zahiri ne harm se koi puche ikbal zahiri ne harm se koi puche ikbal kya harm ka tohfa zam zam ke sawa kuch aur bhi hai ye hasrat reh gayi pehle se haj karna na sikha tha before going to hajj we should learn how to make hajj we should learn how to make salat we should learn how to do fast what is farz on us the learning of that amal is also farz on us if a hajj is farz on us we should learn how to do hajj before we go there now just over there we follow somebody just blindly no no we should learn ye hasrat reh gayi pehle se haj haj karna na sikha tha ye hasrat reh gayi pehle se haj karna na sikha tha kafan bar dosh ja pahunche magar marna na sikha tha rasul akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam before nabuwa declaration he you to hajj every year then har usmar radhi allah taala anhu has umar radhi allah taala anhu you to do hajj every year hazrat ali karam allah wajhu aaj ho hazrat ali karam allah wajhu vikas ho hazabat saraya he could not do hajj every year because he used to be mostly in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala haz hasan radhi allah taala anhu did 20 hajj on foot from madina munawwara hazrat akta sallallahu alaihi wasallam sacrificed 63 camel with his own dastay mubarak at the time of hajj aye brothers if we are eligible to do the hajj please we should do as soon as possible on the delay we should do to toba tan so to see forgiveness allah subhanahu wa taala and please make determination to do hajj as soon as possible so that we get our soul free from sins and we become like new born baby and start new beautiful spiritual life may allah subhanahu wa taala bless us hajj every year and all those haji who are going this year may allah subhanahu wa taala accept their hajj amin summa amin wa akhir damana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin please share my this video to others please jazakallah khair شكرا كثيرا ات ويل بي صدقه جاريه السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بليز شير ذس فيديو از ا صدقه جاريه جزاك الله خير